Hi guys, thanks for stopping by my channel. Um, I just wanted to share these pencils with you that I just got from AliExpress. Um, they're called Marco Renoir 3200 black barrels. Um, the biggest size they come in is a 48 set. Now I had tried looking for some reviews on these pencils before I purchased them, but I didn't see any. So I said I have the other, I have these two sets thought I would compare them um, with today because these are Marco Renoir um, 3100 so I don't know if they're the same thing or they're going to be different so um, we'll check that out I think there are some wait a few reviews on these pencils um they do come in a bigger set like a 120 set um, but I never I've actually never even tried these. I've had these for a while too. So we'll compare them, see if they're, what's the difference between this new set other than that it's black barrels. Um, they're both the same millimeter cores, the 3.7 millimeters they say. So um, let's see what they look like inside. This came to me in this bubble um, mailer pack inside of a, just a regular poly mailer. And I, the box, the tin did come dented. I actually, it was worse than this. Um, this part was like really dented and I tried to bend it back a little into shape, but all in all, not too bad. It still closes. Um, I have opened it already, but um, it came, you know, sealed with this, this um, label here. Um, I really like the tin art. I thought it was pretty and I kind of was taken in by the, that there were black barrels. I thought that was pretty also. There's no color names. Um, they feel kind of, but they feel like they're open-ended on the, say, on the bottom so you can see the cores. They look, mm, I mean, they look a little bit off-center. I don't know, maybe not that bad. Can we even see? It's just that one at least, but they come in, they seem to be in a nice little color family order. Oops. Um, they look a little bit like Black Widows too, uh, to be honest. Maybe we'll, and then I also have these black, other Black Barrel pencils. Um, black edition fiber castells that I have too. Maybe we can do a comparison of those two. But um, what I'm gonna do is just do a nice little speed swatch. And after that, we'll pick up, we'll go from there and see what we're gonna do. If we'll do some comparisons to the other pencils, see if we like them. They are uh, oil-based pencils. They don't have any names, which I like when pencils have names, but what are you gonna do? So when we come back, um, we'll do a speed swatch and we'll figure out what we're going to do after that. Okay, and we're back. Um, I did sharpen all the pencils. Um, this is the next day um, and I woke up a little bit stuffy, so I apologize if my voice goes in and out um, for the rest of this video. Um, got a little bit chilly overnight over here where I live in New Jersey. Um, so I uh, sharpened all, all my pencils. Um, I used this Starlink sharpener. I don't know what kind it is or anything. I just, I've had it for a while and I bought it um, just because it says it has an automatic stop to it, which I don't even, I take the pencil out before it automatically stops because I get nervous. It's going to get too pointy. So um, of course I'm not going to even bother to swatch the white pencil, but um, I just put the numbers already in the swatch chart um, just to make it easier um, for me because um, I don't have them in numerical order and they don't have names. Uh, I basically kept it in the same order they came in the box, except for like over here, I moved some things around over here. So, but we can always change it around later if we don't like it, if I don't like it. And um, the swatch chart, I got it online for free somewhere. I don't know 
it says at Kit Kat, whoever that is. I'm, I don't know. But this is 110 um, spaces. And this is only 48 pencils, but I thought it would be good for later on if we want to do some comparison side by sides with some other pencils. So I left that space empty for that for later. So enough of the chit chat. Let's get into the swatching. with the swatching um I think I like them a lot um the only one that seemed to have any kind of issue was this one number 50 this blue color that kind of crumbled a little bit like the tip broke off a little bit but everything else was really nice even the greens laid down pretty smooth um for greens they usually um greens are usually known to be a bit scratchy and they were okay um I, maybe I would switch these two colors around. Um, but all in all, I like how the color order is. Um, I like all these reds and purples. Um, even the oranges are really nice. The blues are nice. Um, I'm happy with them so far. Um, I'm gonna do a comparison with the other Marco Renoirs. Um, see if the, some of the colors might match up with the numbers. And then um, after that, I'll find a picture. Maybe we can test them out on a coloring page and see how they look, um, you know, when we use them, actually use them out, not just swatching. So we'll do that next. All right, I've pulled three colors from the Marco Renoir 3100 set um, to compare with um, these new black barrel set. and it, does appear at first glance that the numbers um, for each set do match each other. It looks like this 81, they're both grays. Um, 19, they look like they're the same color yellows. And number 11 is a red. But um, I'll swatch, I'm gonna do a swatch side by side. I didn't wanna pull too many and get too confusing. But um, it's looking like maybe they are the same pencil, but we'll swatch them next to each other and. Um, see what we find out. We'll start off with these yellows, number 19 and 19. These um, 3100 series, they do have color names. Um, the back of the tin, they have the names. They're in Chinese, but um, I've used my Google lens to translate the back and they are color names. And I've also, um, I've seen listings for them um, where they list uh, the English color names too. So um, that might be good. So then maybe I can tran transfer over the color names onto these if they're the same, because they seem to be the same colors um, as these. These are, I think these are nicer feeling in the hand. They're a little bit heavier. Um, I'm not sure on the price difference though. I have to check that out. I think these these are probably more expensive. But let's see, this is the 3200 series, number 19, nice and smooth. I like it. And then this is the 3100, number 19 yellow. Yeah, they look, they're the same colors. And I think they feel, let me sharpen this one. Maybe. I haven't sharpened them yet, so maybe we have to sharpen it. Um, yeah, I think, I think these are the same pencils. Um, pretty sure these are the same 
the pencils, they feel pretty much the same. Um, these seem a little bit more crumblier though than these. Mm. So if you have this set um, already, I don't think you need to get this set because um, unless you want to, just for the black barrels of, it, of them. Or, because I think um, since this is, th these come in a 120 set, um, it's more colors. They have color names already attached to them. These are a um, little bit, they're, they're different woods, I think. I can feel the difference in the, the way they feel. Um, I'm still happy I bought them though. Yeah, we'll just do the next, the other two colors just for, just for fun. Um, this is the red number 11. Maybe these are a tiny bit softer. Maybe that's why they're like a little bit crumblier. But I don't think, what if there is a difference between them? I don't think it's, um that big of a difference that it would matter to have to go through with and buying both sets. Actually, I think, oops, I'm shaking, sorry. I think, I think this is a nicer, this one's nicer. Um, and then we'll do this gray color, 81. to this one, the gray and this one. So I'm pretty much, I uh, think they're the same pencil. Although I think this 3100 um, maybe is like a teeny tiny bit better. The barrels are prettier. Well, I guess that's up to opinion if you like, you might like the black barrels better. I always, I know some people like when they don't put the cap at the end, but I like it better. I think it looks nicer just for aesthetic reasons. I like it better. And I think I like when they're like a little bit heavier in the hand than lighter. That That's just me. But, um, so that was interesting that we found out that they have, they're the same colors. Um, I guess it would be up to you um, which set you'd wanna get. Um, the 48, this is the biggest set they have, is the 48 set. Um, I ended up paying about $38 um, total price for these. Um, so it comes out to me like 79, 80 cents per pencil, I think. Um, these Marco Renoirs, the 3100 set. I have, I just bought the portrait and the botanical set. Um, now that I'm testing them out, I think I might even go ahead and buy these in the 120 set because I like them. Um, so, glad we tested those out. So I've decided to pick an image from A Million Cute Animals. Um, there's lots of little images we can pick from in this book. Um, the artist is Lulu Mayo. Just FYI, she is coming out with a new book sometime, I believe later on in November, if that's when you're watching this. Um, I'm not gonna do a color and chat because I found um, I'm not very good at coloring and talking at the same time. And um, I don't really wanna do a voiceover because I kind of feel like if I'm talking, I wanna be like in the moment of talking. So. We're going to do a little speed coloring as well, um, in addition to our speed swatching we did before. So let's get started.
So what do we think? I like them. I'm really happy I got them. Um, there was a little bit of a little crumblies here and there, but um, it's not really that big a deal for me. Um, I think I'm gonna use, I'll be using these pencils and I also wanna um, get the 3100 um, Renoir set um, in the 120 set as well. Um, but what do you guys think? Do you like them? Think you'll get them? If you do decide to get either one of those sets, um, if you're watching this video, um, right when I'm putting it up, it's around, um, I don't even know what day it is. I think it's like maybe November 5th. But November 11th on AliExpress, um, they always have these this really big 11-11 um, sale. Uh, so if you're gonna buy anything from AliExpress, um, wait a few days and um, you probably get a little bit cheaper. So I um, hope you enjoyed this demonstration of these Marco Renoir 3200 pencils. Um, happy coloring everyone and I'll see you next time. Thank you.